You are a light. Do not hide it. Let it shine brightly for others to see. A blessed Monday, my dear friends. This is Vanio Campo. Welcome to Pathways of Hope. Verse 16 of the Gospel today is simple yet powerful message from the Gospel of Luke chapter 8. And it reads, No one lights a lamp and hides it in a clay jar or puts it under a bed. Instead, they put it on a stand so that those who come in can see the light. It is a passage about light. Light that is meant to shine and not to be hidden. If you are from Ormoclete like me, you would know how I feel every time we would experience brownouts here in our city. It has been frequent lately. Try to picture this with me. You are at home in the evening after dinner and all of a sudden the power goes out. It is total darkness. And like me, you will probably start searching around for a candle or flashlight. When you finally get that light going, what is the first thing that you will do? In my case, I normally would put it on top of the table. That's a sensible thing to do. I try to find a spot where it can light up the whole room. Of course, I don't hide the candle in a clay jar or put it under the bed as what is stated in the gospel reading today. I will not do that because I know that the flashlight or candle's purpose is to bring light to the darkness. That, I think, is what Jesus is saying about our faith. It is meant to be shared, not hidden. Like a candle during brownouts, the Word of God and His work in our lives are meant to shine in the dark places of our lives and the lives of others. I know of a friend who's celebrating her birthday today. Her name is Jovi Cortez. She's currently based in New York. Reflecting on this passage today, I thought of her as she embodies what it means to be a light to others. She's not afraid to share about her newfound relationship with Christ. She openly shares God with her circle of friends, especially with her family. Sometimes people don't understand her, but she remains firm yet gentle in making sure that Christ is proclaimed by the way she lives her life. My dear friend, let us not hide the light of Christ. You may be worried about what others will say and think about you. You may think you are not knowledgeable enough about your faith. Or maybe you think your light is not bright enough to make a difference. Our Lord Jesus is not asking us to be expert Christians. What Jesus commands us to do is to share His light and love with the people around us. So, as we reflect on this verse today, let us ask ourselves, how can I shine for Jesus today? For me, it may mean sharing a word of encouragement and a few inspirational Bible passages with someone who is sick, lonely, or struggling. I can, only, I can also shine for Jesus by serving and loving my husband, Jun Jun, and my daughter, Angel. We don't need a spotlight to make a difference. Even the smallest light can brighten a dark place. If we let our light shine, God will give us more opportunities to do so. But if we hide it, we miss out on the blessings that come from being His light in the world. I pray that this short reflection has encouraged you to be a light in your home, workplace, school, family, and wherever God places you. Keep shining brightly for Jesus. If you've been blessed by this short reflection, 
please click the share button so that you too can be a digital missionary and a hope giver like me. Thank you and God bless you.